It's your boy, amateur pro home chef Nathaniel Evanson, coming at you with a hot tip. So today I want to talk about thermometers. A thermometer is an absolute must have in the kitchen uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, there's just all sorts of times where you want to know the temperature of, of things that you're working with, right? Um, if you're making a caramel, you need to know the temperature. Uh, if you're frying something in oil, you need to know the temperature. Um, your oven might not be giving you a correct readout. Like it, it's helpful to know the temperature, the actual temperature of your oven. You can adjust cook times. Like you're like, well, why does this always burn when I have it at the proper temperature? Maybe it's running hot, maybe it's running cool. These are good things to know. It's, it's good to have a thermometer. Also, you wanna know, you know, is this chicken done? You can check the internal temperature, right? So there's a lot of reasons you want a thermometer and there's a lot of different kinds. So first of all, let's talk about a candy thermometer. Now, now obviously this thermometer is made for candy. In fact, this one, even on the back, tells you um, the different temperatures you want to get to for um, softball, firm ball, hard ball, soft crack, hard crack. It, it, those are different stages of sugar, of caramel uh, heating up. And also, you know, temperatures to deep fry things. Um, eggplant, interestingly, so maybe we'll try that. Um, but this is, this is great for making candy, and this is great for frying foods. Um, it is a little on the short side, so if you have like a deep frying vessel, I've, I've had issues where the couldn't quite get the tip down into the oil. Not that big of a deal. Um, made of glass, so you know, be careful. If it has red in it, um, or if it's a, if you have a sil, if you have any thermometer that was like an old thermometer and has silver in it, um, dispose of that. That's a mercury thermometer. That's unsafe. You need to get rid of those. Blue or red, you're fine. Those are it's, a, it's an alcohol. It's a dyed alcohol liquid that um, base liquid that is, is no problem. My candy thermometer, obviously, I can't stick this in my steak and tell how hot my steak is, right? Well, that's where um, this guy, the probe thermometer, comes in. So the probe thermometer is a little standalone box, and you've got this big old pointy stick part, and you plug it in, and you stick this into whatever you want to check the temperature of, and it has a little readout. Now, what's nice about these is, well, A, it's, it's great for when you're cooking large chunks of meat, right? For large chunks of meat, oftentimes you want to bring them to a certain temperature. You can stick this bad boy in there, cook it until it comes to whatever temp you're aiming for, um, and then you can actually set an alarm so that it goes off when it reaches that temp. Like a lot of them, there's all sorts of kinds, but a lot of them will have timers. You can set the target temperature and it'll tell you when you hit that, um, things like that. So um, these are great for, for cooking meat purposes. Um, not quite as useful in terms of candy or oil because, you know, kind of dangles there. It, it, this one's meant for inserting into something you're trying to check the temperature. And finally, we have my personal favorite uh, the thermometer gun, the heat gun. Pew pew! Um, this is basically, uh, it shoots an infrared beam, and based on what the sensor reads in terms of how the beam is reflected back, um, it can actually tell the temperature of something, which is really cool. Um, so for example, you know, I look at this countertop and it's 75 degrees, it's 75 degrees in here, right? I look at my hand and it's warmer than that because my body temperature is warmer than 75 degrees. So this is actually very, very accurate. Um, it has trouble with certain things, like if it's a clear liquid in a glass bottom vessel, it can have issues with that. Um, but, and, and this was like 30 bucks. So I recommend this, it's instant read, you point, you shoot, oh, that's the temperature. So it's really easy. Um, but you definitely need some sort of thermometer. I recommend either one of these and then one probe thermometer for doing you know, larger cuts of meat. And until next time, I'm your boy, amateur pro home chef Nathaniel Levinson. This was a literal hot tip. Pew!